Hello there, this is the Misanthropic Lord, and welcome to another Let's Play. Today I'm looking at Tempest, another piratey adventure game. Uh, so, from what I understand, this is a $10 game on Steam, and although I thought it was a very small game, it looks like this. It was about a 200 megabyte sized game, and for some reason, it looks pretty good. So I'm... I'm already a little surprised by this. <clears throat> In a brutal battle, a mysterious creature sunk my old ship, Genriette. I hope my old friends are still alive. I need to find them quickly, and I need to start from the Isle of Jeanette. Travel to the Isle of Jeanette. Perhaps old Rick is there. <laughs> old Rick. He's so much better than new Rick. New Rick's kind of an asshole. So, okay, here I am on the Isle of Jeanette. So can I, uh, can I, can I move to it, please? Can I do the, can I do the thing? Can I get, get to the island? Okay, here we are. We are in the middle of the ocean. Is there an island nearby? This looks pretty cool, but I'm, I'm not near an island, it looks like. Okay, so maybe I, uh, maybe I have to move. Uh, there we go. There we go. Aha, here we are. Now we're at the uh, oh okay I'm sailing away from it I uh uh oh no it's fine it's fine it'll buff out it's, okay all right uh so I'll just uh, steer back over here to the island that's fine oh you can see the damage on the ship that's actually really cool honestly this looks a lot better than I was expecting so I played another game uh another pirate game in preparation for this. I was gonna have like a Pirates and Ninja week. We'll see if that pans out. But there's another game called Inner Sea that I was looking at and it is much more simple than this game and it's about the same. I'm okay, ran aground on a sandbar. That's fine. It happens to everyone every once in a while. It's, it's okay. It's all right. Okay, okay. So this guy's attacking. So let's go ahead and start with the attacking of him now. Uh, oh good, there's a reload time. Okay, so let's turn around, and... Fire when ready! That's a lot of misses. Is there... I feel like there's something... Is my crew just suck? Is, is, is my crew just filled with the suck right now, and that's why they are missing? Because they need to... They need to practice a little bit more, man. They need to do some drilling. Look at that! Come on! You guys are better than that. Is there... Okay, so there wasn't a tutorial with this game, so I'm kind of going blind here. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Reloading. Fire the broadsides! I don't know how much health this other thing has. This is really cool, though. Like, of all the pirate games I've played so far, this is the closest to what I imagined were if I was making a pirate game. This is the way that I would set up the battles. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's a little bit, uh... Unrealistic, arcadey, I'll say. Yeah, that was a good broadside right there. But, also... I really like it. It's kind of like Pirates. Sid Meier's Pirates. It has that same sort of feel to it. Well, so far anyway. Although, I, I seem to be getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Ooh, that was a mortar. Okay, okay. Look at that! I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how this game is only only 250 megabytes, but this is really cool. Look at the water and, and the, the actual shot going from the ship. And there's... Ah, uh, you're surprising me right now. Okay, alright, let's stop fanboying and let's start actually killing them with our... our shots. Our round shots from our cannonades. Avast, ye scurvy dogs. Ye liking picking filchmongers. Have at thee. Uh, can I, um, can, can I reload, please? Can you get, get your backs into it, men! Get the powder in them, and then the shot, and then light the powder to make the chemical reaction that causes an explosion and propels the shot into the side of their ship! Ha ha ha! 
You have to be shitting me. I was right next. It was right there. It was right there in front of you. How can you miss that? There were some shots that would have had to have gone around the ship in order to have missed it. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so it takes it five seconds in order for it to have a 78% chance of hitting it. Okay, I understand now. There we go. That's a lot better. Uh, okay, good. That was a learning experience for us both. Yeah, got some gold and it looks like some uh, wine, some wine casks. Look at that! We're already pirates! I am... I am super jazzed. Super jazzed. <clears throat> I mean, um... Ha ha ha! Avast, ye scurvy dogs! Now ye be... setting up shop with... Davy Jones in the... in his tea... kettle shop. Arr! Ha ha! Good one, me! Ha ha ha! There's numbers over the heads. I wonder if that's like levels or something. Oh! Oh no! Uh, uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine here now. How are you? Oh, there we go. Good. Just as I thought, old Rick was waiting for me in the tavern. We meet there each time our paths diverge. He said that his brother Jack went to look for me on the Isle of Louisa and Amelia. I think I should catch up with him. Uh, travel to the Isles of Louisa and Amelie and find the brother. The Boatswain. I know old Rick from my childhood. Good. So we got the Boatswain. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Old Rick. Which is good. We need, uh, we need a bosun on the ship. That's how you pronounce it, by the way. It's, it's spelled Boatswain, but it's actually pronounced, uh, bosun. Just so you know, that's a nautical theme. Don't worry. I'll uh, translate as we go along. Oh, we have like round shot for the hull, shrapnel for the crew, and the iron bars for the sails. It's it's like pirates. It's an it's an update of Sid Meier's Pirates. That's basically what this is. Oh man, oh man, I am I am so happy. So ha well, it's a little bit more serious than pirates, and it doesn't seem to have any any going into port portions, which is a little disappointing, but apparently this is an early access game, so they're still working on this sucker. I'm... I am a little, uh, a little excited, if I say so myself. All right, we know the score now. It's time to take on these... I've said scurvy dogs a couple of times. Uh, these mangy swine. There we go. You, you, you say an adjective that's like unclean and or, and or dirty, and then you say an animal after that. It doesn't really matter which animal. It kind of matters which animal, because you don't want to say like a grungy panda. Although a grungy panda would be a fantastic name for a bar. Welcome to the grungy panda. And, and it's like a picture of a panda, and you know all the black spots, you, you can't really see the dirt in the black spots, but in all the white portions it's like green and brown and, and, and just kind of like like dirty looking. And, it's, and the panda's like, well, oh, I'm really unhappy because I'm all dirty and stuff. The grungy panda. That might be my go-to. <laughs> Every time I insult someone as a pirate. You grungy panda! Ooh, we got cinematic! Look at- it's got cinematics too! Okay, alright. You are- you are winning me over game. And I was already on your side to begin with. I was already looking for pirate games. It kind of reminds me of Rebel Galaxy, only like an, an actual party game. Rebel Galaxy instead of a steampunk. Aw, they escaped! That's that's some horse hockey right there. That's some um, that's some sperm whale splooge right there. That's some um, cracking creaking right there. Okay, so I guess we just let him go on his merry little way now, and uh, yeah, we can go back to the map. Good. This is really cool. Is that going to the Isle of uh, Emily right there? 
And uh, we're going to find out uh, some more of the uh, storyline. Yar. Yahar. Why does it put me right there? There's a rock and a ship in front of me. Uh, in the future, I would like to be started off in a place that maybe I can maneuver just a, just a tad better. Just a scotch, you know? 13.6 seconds to get 78%. Okay. What are they firing at me? A potato gun? Pew! Pew! Well, it doesn't matter. Because as soon as I have the sights on you for 13 se- There we go. That was, that was kind of lackluster for 70% there, guys. Okay, going going for the hard 28% for six seconds. Yeah, that seems to be working out just fine for us. Just, just peachy keen. Take that, you slimy lizard. Well, that one worked pretty well, too. I'm just coming up with these off the top of my head. I feel very good about myself. Oh, I've lost another... Uh, fashionable pirate. I guess pirates were always fashionable. Like Calico Jack. Fashionable pirate. Knew what he was wearing, when he was wearing it, and he looked pretty good. He had a couple of ladies that followed him around everywhere, so I mean he must have done something right during his career. Okay, so they're dead now, so I can take their stuff. Which is always fun. Oh, wow. Yikes. I have like 70% of my crew is wounded. Uh, I wonder if there's a way that I can get them treatment at all. Uh, I don't have a spyglass, and I don't have any pistols. I do have a simple sail, which is good. It, it's okay that I have a sail, because I want to go forward with the wind, which is something that is, is particularly good. Oh, medicine! Oh, okay. Oh, pfft. Easy day. Easy day. Here you go, medicine, 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 for everyone involved. There you go. Oh, and now my efficiency is up, okay. See, you know what? I don't need a tutorial. Tutorials are for the weak. And I'm a pirate. There is no tutorial for being a pirate. <coughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing that voice anymore. It's fine. It's okay. <clears throat> it's just that uh, I was kind of doing voices before, and they weren't the easiest voices to do either. <clears throat> Jack was here not long ago. I need to go to the next island. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we got almost a full complement of crew. Our efficiency is up through the roof, and uh, we, uh, we are good to go. We are some uh, mutinous buccaneers with a goal in mind. And it's always good to have goals, even if it is murdering, pillaging, and plundering, you know, the general area around you. Are more pirates? I've asked ye, um, uh, ye, um, uh, uh, slightly disheveled ligers. Yes, slightly disheveled laggers. Have at thee. <laughs> oh, come on. We just healed those people. Well, that, hey, no more medicine for you guys. Everyone gets one. This is a really cool system. And you have to you have to go with the wind too in order to have the speed. Heh. <laughs> I win. I think I won. Pretty sure I won. Oh, are those dead people on my ship? Look at all those dead bodies on my ship! That doesn't look good. That looks very super bad. I I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure they're just uh, taking a nap. I want to make sure they're at uh, peak efficiency, you know, for when we board. Even though we, we can't really board. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. They're fine. Oh! Oh, and you know which way the wind is going because of the uh, the waves. 
Oh, that is so cool and intuitive. That makes me happy. That makes me so happy. Let's go into port and see if we can't get some more medicine, I guess, is what we're looking for. Ooh. He's not here. Rumor has it he decided to head back on the island of Jeanette. Maybe I'll be able to catch up with him on the way. Catch up with Jack en route to the Isle of Jeanette. Or, yeah, I can take a couple of other quests. 25 barrels of wine and 10 pounds of tobacco and deliver them to the Isle of Amalia. I will lose, of course, the 25 barrels of wine and the 10 pouches of tobacco. Cool. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's take it. I'm all about wine and tobacco. That sounds like a good Thursday night. I overheard in the tavern that a merchant owes a considerable amount of money to the local pirate baron, but they have never met in person. They have an appointment to the west of Deep Cove, but I don't know when exactly. If I'm lucky enough to get there before the pirate baron, I can take all the cash and leave him high and dry. YOLO, as the pirates would say, or <laughs> back then, uh, it was a little bit different, you know, instead of, of YOLO. Uh, the L sounded like an H, so it, the, the the pirates would say "Yo ho." <laughs> they were about that uh, "Yo ho" style, that "Yo ho" swag. Hashtag. Yeah. How about that for a pun? I'm expecting to lose subscribers. For 42 each. Woohoo! Look at that. Got a little booty there. Got a little, uh, little junk in the hold. Little, little junk, it doesn't really rhyme. What rhymes with hold and has to do with, with stuff. Um, it's a little, little fold, like a money, money fold in the hold. Does that work at all? I don't think that works at all. Even a little bit. Not even, not even a scotch. A smidgen. A pinch as some people would say. All right, more pirates. Let's go ahead and kill all of these bastards and take their stuff. Ah, I love not having any moral ambiguity, just killing people and taking all the things that they have. People get too up in arms about like, oh no, is it morally the right thing to do? And it's like, whatever, dude, whatever, bro. They're, they're ones and zeros, man. Get over it! And then somewhere in Tron space, families, entire families in the Caribbean are just like crying. Where's, where'd Poppy go? Poppy's never coming home ever again, son. Why? Why is Poppy never coming home? M Mama? Because the creator, the, the player, He's, he's taking them. He's taking them all. And then they grow up. And they're like, I'm going to get the player. I'm going to find a way to get back at him. And that's when the game freezes and you're like mildly annoyed of it. And you're like, oh man. Well, I guess I'll just install it. And you completely wipe out and destroy their universe. And that's the end of that story. So let's go ahead and start <laughs> keep on killing them. Have at ye, ya muddy alligators. Or muddy crocodiles. Silty. Silty crocodiles. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really have the same ring to it at all. Man, being a pirate must have been hard. Get pieces of eight pieces of ass. Probably if you're a pirate, you probably got pieces of ass all the time when you were pieces of ass with pieces of eight while you were in port. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm just too clever sometimes. Sometimes I'm just so funny, I don't know what to do with myself. I say, self, whoa, whoa, T-O there, self. And, and self is just like, whoa, what's up? What's going on? I'm like, you are just, you are bringing your A game for every game. And myself is just like, yeah, you know, it's just what I do. It's just, I'm always at the top tier of commentary <clears throat> yeah anyway let's go ahead and pick up the rest of this gear right here I like the speed up button I appreciate that now yeah, we got some more wine and some more gold and now we can do what we're told 
and complete this quest right ahead. Uh, okay. So, I think this is the one where we're basically stealing gold from the Pirate Baron. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that will have no consequences in the future whatsoever. All part of the plan. Lure them into a false sense of security with my new submarine. So I guess I'll leave it there for right now, but this is Tempest. This is available on Steam and for a modest sum of money, if I remember correctly. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this, actually. I'm, I actually play this for real. Hey, if you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, this be the misanthropic lord. So enough. So be ready to walk the plank, ya grungy pandas.